What is up, everybody? Mr. Spingles here, bringing you another episode of Hardcore Survival. And today, I'm going to probably go more mining because I need to find more diamonds. While recording, I went to the nether and decided not to post it because it was a very, very safe nether. I spawned in the middle of nowhere, no lava near me, no nothing to kill me. It was very, ended up being really dull, and as much as it's hard for the nether to be boring and dull, it was a really boring experience, so I decided I just won't post it. I thought about it, but it was a fairly boring trip to the nether, and my nether has really nothing notable, nothing too exciting. I wasn't able to find the nether fortress, so I'll probably eventually just do that off camera and find that because I want to find it. I don't want it to be like a super long, boring thing that you guys just watch me travel for a couple years while getting there so right now i'm just gonna probably go mining again as i do want to find more diamonds and i think i also want to find a cow real quick to milk it so if i ever get poisoned by a witch i'm not just doomed to die instantly i'd like to have some milk to um, just revive myself because in hardcore mode poison can take you all the way to dead whereas any other mode it will just bring you to half a heart but in this it will kill you so i'd like to find a cow to um I always have milk in my hand at all times. I'm not seeing any right now, so I'm just going to go down to the cave. The cave I've already uh, gone through quite a bit is mostly safe. I'm actually going to go get just a couple pieces of wood because that's always handy to have some wood while you're in the mine. I don't want to just run out of any building resources or not be able to build more torches if I need or anything. So I'm just going to get a couple pieces of wood real quick to take with me. And then we'll just go mining. Hopefully find some more diamonds because I only need one more and I can make an enchantment table. So that'd be really nice. And... Also, while off camera, I went and explored around this huge area, maybe trying to find like a desert or something by them. It's very just mountainous, and that's about it. Really, not too much exciting or anything out of the ordinary. I was recording it, but I decided again, it was just like a exploring. I was like, you know, I was not going to show you guys. It was pretty, pretty boring, and nothing really happened. So I'm just going to head down here and hopefully be able to find some extra diamonds because that's really what I want to find right now. Because having an enchantment table and enchanting all my stuff would be probably my first priority to advancing in this series. And I almost fall down a ledge and that would have given me quite a bit of fall damage. That's another reason I want to enchant so I can get like stuff like fall protection and just protect myself from mobs. And especially blast protection. Uh, I really want that because you guys have already seen creepers have uh, been quite a threat in this series. Almost killing me a couple times. So I do want to get blast protection as soon as possible. And while I'm down here I'll probably just... Do some more mining because my resources are somewhat low. I want to make sure I have coal with me at all times, not like have to not be able to melt things because of lack of coal. So I'm going to be mining with coal and iron as I see it along the way. Not like every single patch I see, but just sometimes I'll just be like, hey, I'm going to go pick that up and mine it. So that'd be good. I just want to have all these resources on hand at all times. This uh, episode, I'm going to try to be very, very cautious. I know I'm always cautious, but even more so because I really don't want to die from creepers as... I almost already have more than I wanted to, which is like twice. Obviously, zero times would be how many times I'd want to almost die, but it's uh, not always go. Doesn't always go the way you want. The zombie here is holding an iron shovel. I don't know how a zombie figured out how to make that. I guess he just put a piece of iron in a crafting table and was playing tic tac toe and figured it out. But all right, I'm going to. All right, so this. Hold on. What what am I at for? Why I'm at 13. I'm just gonna dig down once and. Just dig in like every direction right here. Just maybe I'll find some diamonds. Put a torch right here behind me. That'd be terrible for creeper. I'm just gonna dig or just uh, mine straight in this direction. Find me some diamonds. Find me some diamonds. Find me some diamonds. I don't need no iron. It's worthless. Come on, come on. Money roll, money roll, money roll. All right, no diamonds. I do that every once in a while just because I, you know, I'm gonna dig this. A lot of times diamonds. I don't know if that's a Minecraft spawning thing, but I've very commonly found diamonds adjacent to redstone i don't know if that's part of minecraft's programming or it's just in my circumstances happen that just happens to happen to me so i'm not sure how that goes if that has any significance or anything probably not i might just be lucky in whenever i find redstone Ooh, look at that is that an enchanted bow no it's just a regular bow he was in the shadow and i couldn't tell that's all right i'm gonna get some more iron get more redstone redstone giving me levels and helping me with that and i also going to need to find lots of lapus with enchanting needing lapus it's going to be very or lapis lazui i don't know i know how it is pronounced but i don't always care but i'm gonna have to be finding a lot of that for enchanting so that'll be interesting and um hopefully i can find just more caves and 
or more tunnels I haven't gone so I can find diamonds. That'd be great. Where are the diamonds hiding? They have to be somewhere. I know they're here. Alright, so that's my first place where I found uh, obsidian or dig dug it up to make my portal to the nether. Oh man, this cave. I've explored most of it, but there's got to be areas. All Minecraft caves are huge and almost endless. I just keep going forever. I'm going to dig right here. Maybe I'll find some diamonds. Hopefully, I really do want at least one diamond. If I found out one patch of diamond, obviously it would be preferred if I found a bigger patch. But one is really all I need at this immediate time. I have a pick. I have just one, so I need one more to make a table. And I actually got to should be start farming sugar cane so I can make paper for bookshelves and stuff if I want to enchant up to level 30 and stuff. Man, this has got to be careful in this area as there's corners and tunnels all over. I don't want to get a creeper snuck up on me or sneak to sneak up on me. That would be no fun. Okay, I've already been this way. And I'm just going to go through the ravine again. Maybe I'll find a different tunnel leading through. I might just have to find a different cave system. As this, this place looks fairly unexplored. Maybe this is new, huh? Maybe I've never been here. Maybe I just didn't light it up. I try to light up everywhere I go. So I don't explore the same place multiple times. And just look at... Okay, I don't think I've been this way. I'm going to make some more torches real quickly. Let's see. Get that. Get, I'll make lots of torches. So I don't run out. Because torches are... I use them like candy. Like I eat candy, which is a lot. Oh, look at that. Lots of lava. This looks pretty promising. I'm going to use my water bucket so I don't die from falling into lava because that'd be very unfortunate. It'd be a uh, dead Mr. Spankles. Oh, look. I see lots of gold. So that'll be very promising. Lots of lapoos. More iron. This is really decent. I'm sure I'll find diamonds too. This is really good. I'm glad I found this area. I'll get some more coal because I used all of mine for torches and I want some for smelting when I get home to my house. And I'll mine this iron too. Get some coal be nice to at least just an enchantment table helps so much just helps in every aspect because like just every pick I make like an iron pick I would probably just put like efficiency one on or hope for that because just mining faster and everything just helps so much and saves time and just I'd love to have blast protection that's really what I want right now after getting those creeper scares early on in this series <laughs> and those guardian scares I almost died from guardians like a scrub because I had no idea what they did sorry guys for my lack of uh, lack of knowledge in 1.8. I am learning surely but slowly. And as you guys saw, I didn't even know about lamb meat in 1.8. In my first episode, I killed a bunch of lambs and looked at my inventory and realized I had raw mutton, which was very surprising. I had no idea why. Well, I don't know if I ever learned it. And I just forgot, but I don't think I ever knew about it. Whenever the updates come out, they give you like a description of what they do, and I never really read them because I don't like reading and I'm lazy. But I'm going to make sure I get all the gold I find because I want to make a notch apple. As much as I already have a golden apple with me, notch apples are the most powerful things ever. And that'd be really uh, useful to have on hand at all times. Man, so I actually was able to find a lot more of the cave I never explored. So that's really good and solid for me. I'm going to light this area up completely. Be very careful with what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. Look at that. This is a zombie waiting up there. But I've never been scared of zombies. They really... Never been too much of a threat in any update, any part of Minecraft. They've never scared me whatsoever. I think I just heard a skeleton shoot at me. Maybe I'm just hearing things. I really could have thought I heard that. Oh, more gold. I definitely want to get that. All the gold I ever find on the mine. Hear more lava, so it must be more. Man, I'm finding tons of gold. This is awesome. I'm just going to keep mining it because gold is gold. So powerful for golden apples, notch apples, all these things. Mostly just notch apples and decoration is what it's used for. And power rails, which I don't think I'm ever going to make a minecart in this series. Depending, but most likely I won't. And I'm going to get this lapis real quick. Always good to have that. I don't know how much it uses when I start enchanting. I don't think it's more than like one in enchant, or maybe in higher the enchant, the more lapis it uses. Not uh, informed on that to myself. But hopefully I can find some diamonds around this corner. Because this is a huge stretch of lava. If I don't find any diamonds, that's going to be very unfortunate. And I'll probably be an angry Mr. Spankles. There's got to be some diamonds, though. If I don't see any immediately, I'll probably just dig a bit. Because there's this much lava at Y12 or Y11. There has, there's just no way there's no diamonds. They're probably just hidden somewhere. Hopefully I can find them around the stretch. I don't want to be mining around this entire thing. 
to try to find some diamonds. Man, please. There's gotta be. Like, I wouldn't even doubt there being multiple patches around this area. This is so huge. But I can't find any, which is really unfortunate. I'm gonna keep looking around this corner because it just keeps going. And make sure I light up everything so I don't die. Right, more lava. There has got to be diamonds somewhere. I really need diamonds. This would be... I'd be very upset if I don't find any diamonds. But I guess I can't have all the luck. Except for I've had none luck. Because zero diamonds. Come on. Okay, I'm going to go this way. Maybe I'll find diamonds. That's all I really want right now in this series is diamonds. I don't want to do much more until I find them. Just chanting straight up that's the entire reason i want diamonds to be safe i don't want to die in the series and having good enchants will just really secure my safety and help me not die if i can't find diamonds here soon that's I'm not gonna be happy at all i'm gonna be super upset i i saw this huge patch of lava and i was like well i find diamonds that's good but uh, man this is terrible this is the most lava I've probably almost ever found without any diamonds. And I know for a fact there's going to be diamonds somewhere around here because diamonds naturally spawn around areas like this, but I don't want to mine around the entire obsidian patch just to find one patch. Or maybe I will, but off camera. We'll see because I really want to find diamonds. It's not really looking like I'm going to find any right now, so that's really upsetting to me. At least I find uh, a decent amount of gold and... Iron is not really hard to find, but I found a bunch and lapis, so that's not a totally wasted trip. I'm just gonna mine. Watch, right here, right here, right here, right here. Money, 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 money. <sighs> try this, try this, try this. Come on. Man, that's really upsetting. I know there's diamonds so close to me, but I just don't know where they are. And that's so sad. But gold and lapis, I guess I can't complain too much. Really would like to find some diamonds, though. Watch me find diamonds under the gold. That'd be solid. And if I even... I also really need to find a nether fortress in the nether. So I can make fire-resist potions and be able to swim through lava if I need. Or if I ever get knocked into the lava accidentally, to always have one of those on my hotbar. Because I... Lava is one of the ser most serious killers in this series. I'm assuming it's going to be like witches creepers and being just falling into lava because i've done that before <sighs> fell into lava and burned to death so that's one of my biggest fears in this series and if i can get blast protection armor thing of milk in my hand and a thing of fire resist then i should be safe from just about every threat i could that would most likely kill me that those are just the things as you guys have seen i've already almost died from creepers multiple times and I guess the Guardians are somewhat of a threat, but they're really only in the water. And they can only... I found out more since I almost died. They lock onto you, and after like three seconds of being locked onto you, they shoot a beam. So if you're in a boat, then you're completely safe. They can't lock onto you because they see the boat, not you. So I was completely safe when I was looking through that fortress. But I got out of my boat, and they started shooting me, and my boat floated away. So it was not a great situation for me. I did not... just had no idea what they'd done, and I... My lack of inexperience and knowledge almost killed me. Alright, I don't think I'm going to be finding anything right now. I'm going to end off this episode right here, guys. And thank you for watching. Like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a nice day. See ya!